Yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, let's take a brief look at the second generation Audi A3 sedan, which is of course the sedan version of the fourth generation A3 hatchback or sportback as it is officially called that was revealed in March this year. That's right, even though the new sedan is based on the same platform as the hatchback, it is considered as a second generation model because the first two generations of the A3 did not have a sedan body style. Speaking of the body style, the new A3 sedan has grown in dimensions. Compared with its predecessor, the new A3 sedan is 4cm longer, 2cm wider and 1cm taller. The wheelbase, however, remains unchanged and so is the luggage capacity of 425 litres. As for the styling, the front half of the sedan is identical to the hatchback with its large single frame grille with honeycomb pattern flanked by matrix LED headlamps in the range topping model. The headlamps consist of a pixel array made up of 15 LED segments that can be actuated individually for a specific light signature depending on which variant you have chosen. On the side profile, the rear doors get the rings logo which adds a touch of sportiness. Another important styling element is the concave surface on the doors which creates an intense play of light and shadow from many angles. The wheel design is identical to the ones on the hatchback. The rear end borrows its styling cues from the bigger siblings in the family. There's also a subtle integrated tailgate spoiler. Inside, the dashboard and the layout are nearly identical to the ones on the new A3 Sportback. Thanks to that 1cm increased height and lower positioning of the driver's seat, the headroom is up by 2cm at the front. Features include a 10.25 inch digital instrument cluster and a 10.1 inch MMI touch display with handwriting detection. Buyers can opt for a 12.3 inch Audi Virtual Cockpit Plus, a head up display, and MMI Navigation Plus, which uses the third generation modular infotainment platform or MIB3 for short. The MIB3 has computing power 10 times higher than in the predecessor model, connects the car via LTE advanced speed, and connects the passenger smartphones to the internet via Wi Fi hotspot. The car to X services are also part of the connectivity services. The A3 sedan can be locked or unlocked as well as started via an Android smartphone with the Audi Connect key. Personalization allows up to 6 users to store their preferred settings in individual profiles, including those for the seat, climate control and media. Safety and driver assistance systems include the Audi Presence Front, Collision Avoidance Assist, Adaptive Cruise Assist, Cross Traffic Assist and Efficiency Assist. In the Audi Presence front system, the camera behind the interior mirror works together with the front radar to prevent accidents or at least reduce their severity. The standard collision avoidance assist also uses the data from the sensor system. As for the suspension, Audi claims that it has been tuned to be sporty and harmonious, a touch more precise than in the predecessor model. As an alternative to the standard setup, there is a sport suspension and a suspension with controlled dampers. As you might expect, the Audi Drive Select Dynamic Handling System also allows the driver to experience different levels of suspension tuning. Moving on to the business end of the story, the new A3 sedan is available with a choice of two TFSI engines and one TDI engine at launch. The 1.5 litre petrol engine produces 150 horsepower and is available in two versions with a new 6 speed manual transmission and a 7 speed S Tronic automatic. In addition to the cylinder on demand technology, the powertrain with the S Tronic DCT uses a 48 volt mild hybrid system. It recovers energy during deceleration, supports the engine with up to 50 Nm of torque when driving off and accelerating from low engine speeds, and allows the car to coast with the engine switched off in many situations. In everyday driving, it is claimed to reduce consumption by up to 0.4 liters per 100 km. The 150 horsepower 2 litre TDI diesel motor is paired with a 7 speed S Tronic, where the gear shifts happen via a new switch that uses shift by wire technology. Prices in Europe for the 35 DFSI start at €29,800, which will be followed by an entry level petrol variant priced at €27,700. Let me know what you guys think about the new A3 sedan in the comments down below, and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and talk to you guys in the next video.